Okay, well, as promised, I'm going to do a interior review, four years. And I'm also going to point out some things how we live on the road. Um, we're full-time now. We have been a year yesterday, my wife informs me. So, I got some lights on. I left this basically as to what it would look like exactly on any given day if you came to our place and this is how we live okay so people have asked where you put your trash can well it goes right there just a simple bag and this is how we are set up every day this is just what it looks like we don't leave a lot of stuff out. I do have that out. We keep a fan here to uh, keep us cool. That's where I store the oven, countertop, toast, toaster oven, and our laundry bag. Neither one get in the way. And this is just how we are set up. Okay? So let's, I'll go through it a little more and show you some of the things that broke, how things stood up, and how we're living in this full time. Alrighty, well, coming in through the door on the side, now a lot of people don't have to do this, but if you're on the road, you never know what the conditions are going to be. So we've got all of our winter coats hanging in there and light jackets, and back in behind that whole thing is a little Bissell uh, vacuum cleaner. Plus a short little kiddo's play brush, um, like a broom, and a little dustpan. And uh, then below that is obviously where we carry our cleaning supplies and Mr. Vodka. And then on down here, I've got, there's a panel that was back in there. And I took that panel out because it didn't want to stay. This is where I put my, my shoes, slippers, and flip-flops. And I keep uh, bug spray back in there. So you never know when you're going to need that. And I've been through a lot of cans of bug spray on this truck. The only real thing that I added here were these little command strips. So I can just, outside, I can just reach right in. And I know where the keys are for the camper, the truck, whatever. And uh, no issues here. We're getting some wearing on this where I put my hand to push out to, to exit. So I'm going to get a grab handlebar if I see one. Uh, that'll help out on that. Now, no issues at all with the uh, fridge and freezer. It just frosts up more in these uh, humid climates. Now, in the bathroom, we haven't had any issues outside of the rollers and they broke. I did a video on it so it's out there for you if you need to see it and uh, this broke right here. Got a crack in it. So um, I have two extras if I need them. Found them at the flea market for a buck because people were putting in Oxygenix uh, shower heads and so they were given these whole units. Were in. I found two of them brand new. Storage is a must. So that's where we keep our towels I'm kind of keeping an eye out for a bracket or a shelf that I can put up there so that would uh, give us more space. But really, we're getting by just fine with this, with all our normal toiletries and stuff. The, um, the stool hasn't given us any real problems until just recently Linda cleaned it out and the bowl uh, won't hold water. So I'm going to have to get in there. I put in a new ring, but that didn't do it. So I've got a couple of ideas on doing that. So storage again, like I said, is always a premium. And so we keep two little trash bins down here with toilet paper and extra stuff. And there's the back, which I will put some insulation back in there. And uh, other than that, we just added a little bit of decoration. And a little bit of decoration there. Actually, we charge more than that. So that's the uh, bathroom. Really, no 
no issues there. The fan works great. We don't use it very often, but on occasion we do. No problems with the microwave. And uh, as you may have seen in some of my other videos, we use this storage. I use bins to put all my stuff in. Uh, and I like those are all spices. And then over here, I have additional stuff. So I can just slide them out and put it in. I try not to let it keep too heavily. Our coffee maker goes out there and it stores up in the corner there when we travel. I don't use the oven. I use the oven just for storage. And um, that's because I have that oven. And I've learned how to bake in my 10 inch, 12 inch skillet. So I'll keep some pots and pans down here. Very few. In fact, I've let some go. I said, hey, haven't used them in months. Get rid of them. So we'll keep uh, additional supplies down here just for general, general stuff. Some containers, which are always handy. And then the useless drawer, because everything here bounces out in there if it's really rough. Now, one thing I did want to point out is you're going to see where there is some uh, some scarring. Some of that stuff is coming off. As you can see, now I've got something I want to try doing where these, where these meet. It's just going to plain wear it off sooner or later. It's just a, a fake wood stain, so I've got an idea on that. That I'll... Uh, I'll give a try on that. We did um, get a floor mat. At, I think some store, maybe Walmart, I can't remember. But this is really nice to have down just for walking around in this area. The um, couch has worked fine. It's starting to wear down a little bit. So we put a blanket across there or something to oomph it up. And one day I'll get in and uh, shore that up a little bit. The storage back here behind the uh, couch is excellent. It's just great. I don't put anything really heavy back there. Uh, I do have a can that, uh, or a trash can that fit back there, and that's where I put recyclable aluminum. And uh, this is, of course, this area right in here is my workshop, as you saw. That's my office. And we keep light stuff up here as well. No issues there. Now on a rough road using the slide lock, this uh, top banister or railing, whatever you want to mantle, came loose. It came clear off and I did a video on how to fix that up short. So if you want to use the slide lock, you can certainly do that. Um, Linda's put up a couple of little pictures that we've been getting on the road just to kind of personalize it a little bit. And I did a video on replacing the vent on top of the camper. And during the winter, we have a, uh, a truck uh, reflectix window guard that we just put right up inside the window during the winter. It keeps the cold off of our head, and that works great. You'll notice this is the original um, bedspread that came with this unit and the sham back there. So you can see we're not much on just redecorating and throwing good stuff out. Uh, we have put up a clock and, and a little uh, thing there. Let me go over here and I'll show you how we use the uh, side the side here. Now a lot of people do put shelves in there and go that route, but I chose to go ahead, and so did Linda on her side, uh, hang up my pants there, my dress slacks and shirts and then I just roll my jeans up into a uh, into a ball and I just stick them in there and that works great for me I can just reach up and pull out whatever I want now you'll notice on either side we have some boxes those are those collapsible boxes you can buy uh, any place uh, I think we got these at Walmart they fit perfectly under there and I have a lot of clothes in there all my socks, undies, and some rolled up shirts, sweatpants, and 
shorts, a swimming trunk. I have a lot of things in there, and it's worked out great. So, and then the uh, cabinet down below this drawer is just my personal stuff. Linda doesn't have one on her side, so mine is my junk drawer, if you will. The um, So we've had no issues over there. That, By the way, that's where I found my first leak, inside there. And it turned out to be the outside uh, running light up over the uh, camper up there. And I did a video uh, with a friend of mine on how we shored that up and fixed it so that it worked okay. The TV has worked just perfectly for us, no issues. Uh, you'll see a white wire hanging down here, and that that is the the outside antenna that I put up, and it works great. It pulls in more stations than if we just used the one on the top. So I haven't made any changes over here at all. Uh, down there, I just keep miscellaneous cords, uh, tripod, just simple little things like that. The um, drawers present a challenge. They were broken. I did a video on how I fixed that one over there. And I think I did one here. You'll see one's hanging down. The side support came clear out. Some part of it is just stapled in. Very, very poorly done. This is uh, probably my biggest complaint about um, structural. What, what they didn't do right. Other than that, this thing's solid as a rock. It is really good. But the inside of those uh, supports and all the railings are just coming out. I'm going to have to redo that and fix it up right. The heater down there works great. And the air conditioner is wonderful. Thank you. We have to clean those vents out fairly often now, about every two months, living in here full time. So as far as anything else that broke, there the other thing was uh, one of the lights. Uh, you can't just replace the bulb. It is a crazy thing. Um, so when this one goes out, my son ordered me some little uh, lights to put in here, and I'll replace those. So as far as things breaking, very, very little. Uh, the, uh, the range hood... Um, burners came loose and I did a video on that on how to fix that and make sure that they don't come loose again. So let me uh, take a few minutes here and I'll go over some of the challenges and uh, the good stuff about living full-time on the road. Okay I'm not real sure but I may be red. It looks like I'm red in this. But uh, let's see if I can turn this just a little bit. Oh yeah there that's better. Um, challenges. Living on the road one year. Um, we sold our townhome, as you know. We're uh, looking to do some traveling and then get another house fairly soon. So that won't be too long. Now, one of the big challenges is making reservations uh, for campgrounds, state parks, wherever we go. That is kind of, that's tense because we didn't plan out a full year of where we were going to go. We'll normally plan out about two to three weeks. Three is pretty long. Normally about two weeks, a uh, week and a half. We found that staying three nights in one location is pretty much ideal. Four is stretching it, two is too short. So we want to move through and see things. Now COVID threw a big, uh, big kink in the works for us on that, but uh, what you're gonna do so we still maintain that cycle we found staying in one place a week was just way too boring way too boring another challenge is cell service so not all of these uh, places are gonna even get it some we've had zip and um, some that are closer to major cities you might get four bars and that was just recent for me and I couldn't believe it it was great so cell services is an issue, so look online, campgrounds, uh, uh, online services. Uh, I use RV Trip Wizard, and uh, that has reviews, and it shows cell service. And I put them into my videos, or I try to remember to put them into my video in the description section. Getting medications and mail is, is a little bit of a challenge. Um, we have our daughter's 
home address is our home address. So she gets all of our mail, she goes through it, and very little needs to be sent to us. Um, but medications are an issue, so having to call the doctor in Colorado to fill a prescription when Linda hasn't been in to make, have an appointment for a follow-up to see if she still needs it or tests, whatever, has presented quite a challenge. So we happened to luck out and have them filled at Walmart, but we use a, um, a Kaiser plan. And they're not all over the U.S., so I'm looking at maybe changing our provider just for that reason. So getting a, a, ordering something from Amazon presents a huge challenge, too. So I have to check ahead at a campground we're going to in a few days and say, can you receive mail for me or a package? And that's the way it is. So I have to pretty much rely on hitting RV dealers. Um, only had to do that once, but usually I can find what I need for repairs and maintenance at um, Ace Hardware's, Walmart's, Lowe's, Home Depot. Uh, tractor Supply is a good one, and uh, that's worked out fairly well. Um, washing the camper, it's that's tough. Uh, campgrounds rarely ever let you wash your camper in your site. So we have to find those that you can drive through you know, the big open ones that you drive your vehicle in with enough room to go back and turn around and get out. Um, and I'll pull my truck in, wash it, and then pull forward, wash the camper, and it's a little tight. It has to have a big enough ceiling I can get up there and scrub down the top of the camper. So it's going to get dirty because uh, that ends up uh, time-consuming. You have to do it between trips. You don't want to be hooked up somewhere say, oh, I'm going to go wash the camper and haul it out and then bring it back and set up again. So it's something to keep in mind. Laundry, finding laundries, and uh, some of them ain't so hot. There are some that Linda refused to go into after we got there. And she said, nope. <laughs> so finding a good laundry on the road is uh, difficult, but you can use Google Maps and Google a city, you know, Warrior, Alabama laundries and uh, go down to street view and look at it and at least get an idea of what it looks like on the outside. If it's a tiny little one it's going to be used quite a bit. If it's the bigger ones, um, the nicer ones, that's the one she prefers to go to. Um, a few good things about on the road for a year. Um, one is Linda likes to read. So when you go to these RV parks and even state parks uh, occasionally, Corps of Engineer, where we were at the other day, there's book exchanges, and they even have games that you can exchange. So we don't do the games, but Linda loves to read, and she reads every night. So she's found some really good books, and uh, that's one nice thing. So if you do have some, bring them with you, and look for places to exchange them on the way. Exploring parks and areas, of course, that's why we're here. Um, we get to look around, we get to find local history, sometimes small towns surprise you, but um, that's the major reason that we're on this trip. So that's that's a, a big plus, a big good on uh, being on the road. So you, you don't have to go out two weeks and then drive a thousand miles back to go home. Uh, if you're out for an extended period of time, you can take your time and plan out where you want to go. Um, and that, that goes right with learning the history of the areas. There's so much u a unique, um, crazy people and good people out here that you meet some real heroes. And you'd never know it. You would never have realized that. Um, the names that we heard of before and just in passing, we get to read about them. And it's just heartwarming. It, it's really, really great. So one of the goods and bads is storage when you're um, living in your camper. All of our other stuff is in a 10 by 10 back in Aurora, Colorado, but um, storage is always a premium for you. So if we buy new clothing, some's gotta go uh, because we always keep a full range of clothing. Uh, the same thing goes with any uh, uh, appliances or something. My little uh, heater, the space heater we used for almost four years, finally broke. 
um, and I bought a new one. So I have to, the old one's going, the new one's coming in. The, uh, but the good thing is, there's a lot of storage in this camper. Uh, there's storage under the bed. You just lift up the bed. I didn't show you that. And down behind the, uh, the laundry basket and uh, the countertop oven there are three sliding drawers that we keep things in. And the hassums that you saw, the footstools here, have stuff in them. So we, we use every inch for storage, but try to keep it on the light side. I don't have a lot of anything that could break or go bad or anything like that. Under the pass-through, I uh, keep that pretty much down to just normal use. And then I have stuff in the back of the truck. Um, the generator's back there, a jerry can, and some plastic bins with um, hoses and, and fix-up stuff, tubes of glue and whatnot like that, bungees and stuff. So I keep things back there and I keep it locked up, of course. Um, nothing of any real value to anybody. It's all used stuff, even if somebody got into it. So, yes, being on the road one year has been a challenge. It has also been fun. We've seen some really great, great things. Uh, it's once-in-a-lifetime type thing. Uh, we'll uh, continue to be on the road for a while, uh, at least December and January, in Picacho Peak RV Resort in uh, north of Morana and Tucson, Arizona. And then we're not sure what we're going to do. We may boogie back to Colorado and see if we can find us a home. If not, we'll just keep traveling. So I hope that helped you out on the four-year review. This is a really sturdy model. Um, I am very, very happy with this. Uh, nothing major has broken on this thing at all. And um, if you get a chance to get a camper, go in, like I said earlier, bang on the walls. Oh, yeah, that's a solid wall. Inside, no, not going to be. They built them lightweight. So is it perfect? No. But is it almost perfect? Yes. And it fits our needs. And that walk around queen bed is a lifesaver and this small slide opens us up so that we can uh, have room to move around. All right, I hope that helped. If you have questions, leave them uh, in the comments. I do try to always get to those. Sometimes YouTube doesn't let me know when I get one, but I will try to answer those for you, okay? And I'll, uh, I'll leave you with one picture and that's costs. Somebody asked about costs. So I'll uh, I'm going to hold this up, and I'll take a picture of it as well. Uh, you can pause it. The, um, the first column is the annual costs. So that's a, a true one-year picture of what our costs were. Um, like campgrounds, $8,301 in a year. Uh, works out to $830 a month. And um, the gas and fuel is the next big one. And then your groceries. And then it just kind of goes on down. Uh, the vacation that you see on here, that's when we go to um, uh, go to a site or we pay to entrance fees to go into things like here uh, at the caverns. We're going to go take a tour of the caverns. So all the, the uh, vacation stuff goes in there, or if we have a whoop-de-doo day um, at a, a, inside something, I'll split it maybe between um, vacation and entertainment, uh, just regular entertainment. So you have your normal supplies of living, but uh, I hope this helped out. Uh, I try not to ramble on too long, but I gotta, I want to get it down there for you. Okay, so you guys have a great one. Stay safe. Do it Garland style or your style. Oh.